Hey guys, 2007 club car precedent, and we are going to change the rear leaf spring bushings. Now, I've already done it on that side, and that's kind of my remnants, what was left over. And to kind of show you what we're gonna end up getting into is we're gonna cut ourselves an access hole. And I'll show you, because this side over here, you can't get to the bolt. Now I can start taking all this bumper mess apart, but you know what? Cut an access hole and be done with it. So the tools that we're gonna use is gonna be an impact gun, a hammer, a pry bar to pry some things off. And I've got this, you can use a straight drill. I just use this one. This is a one inch hole saw, and that's what I'm gonna use to cut an access hole, some WD-40 sizes. I got a 19 millimeter for the lug nuts, a five eighths for my U-bolt. That one is a nine sixteenths for the shock absorber a 13 millimeter for some other bolts underneath there and a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter wrench so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna obviously remove this tire and then i'm gonna start taking my shackle bolts loose those are 10 millimeter on one side i'll use my open end wrench to do the 13 on the other side then i need to take these two 13s off and once i do that i'll show you how we're going to cut an access hole for this because usually if the bottom bushings are bad, the upper ones are bad. You can get these off Amazon or your club car dealer, but that's what they're gonna look like when you get them. And once you do get started, obviously support with jack stands on both sides to the frame. Get in front of your spring perch right there. Um, I use a floor jack on the axle and uh, you'll see how I'm gonna use that. But definitely don't crawl underneath here without it being supported on the frame. So now that I've got my wheel off, I'm gonna start taking my bolts loose, my 5 8 bolts underneath here, and also my shocks. Now I'm gonna tell you this too, do one side at a time. If you do both sides, you take those shocks loose, the rear end can roll. So you don't wanna do it. The shock will keep it from doing that. And then I'm gonna take these 10 millimeters and 13s off. I'm just gonna start taking things apart, so. All right, guys, I got everything loose, and as you can see, it's just kind of flopping here right now. I've still got to get the access point to that bolt, and if you look underneath there on the back side, you can see the nut. That's a 13 millimeter also, but the head's going to be behind this plastic piece, and it ain't going nowhere, and I'm not going to take the rear bumper off. So, I've got my 5 8 bolts loose here, my 9 16 bolts, uh, my bolt off on the front. The parking cable does have a bracket on there, a little L bracket that keeps it retainer. So it slides off into that bolt. And then I'm gonna slide this leaf spring all the way out. But you can see how deteriorated the uh, bushings actually are. So let's go ahead and slide that out. All right, guys, I got the leaf spring out. And just, I never did disconnect the uh, parking brake cable because you really don't need to. But now up here, I put myself a little mark where I know that I can drill it out. So now I'm gonna use this, like I said, you can use a straight drill and just try to uh, drill an access point to that bolt head. I'm just kind of going around and around the circle. Now obviously the tip of the bit, where you can see it touching the edge of the head of the bolt right there. Let's see if I can pry that off with a screwdriver. As you can see, it cut just about all of it off. But guess what? That's all I need right there. So now I'm gonna take that off with my 10 millimeter. The reason you gotta take these two off, underneath here, it will allow this to spread open. And if you leave these two 13s, it's gonna be a bear getting that on there with the bushings. So let's, let's go ahead and take that off and get this bracket out. There it goes, it fell out. And you can see how worn out it was, so. Let's see what we can do about putting new bushings together. All right, guys, the way I usually do it, I hold two of these in my hand, and I'm doing this video with one hand, but I'll take my WD-40, I'll spray these, and I will slide those in there with my little uh, spacer that came with it. So most of these kits you order off Amazon, they only come with the spacers for the newer presidents, which are the same length as the rear. But uh, the older ones do have this little bracket here rather than the two leaf springs uh, perches or uh, brackets, whatever you want to call it. But uh, so I'm going to lube these up, press these in there with 
this uh, spacer. So usually what I like to do, if I can do this in one hand, almost got it. So I've got one started. Once I lube it up, I'll push it in there. Like so. And once I get it in there, I'll center it. And then I'll press the other one on the other side. And I just use a vise. And once I get it flat, then I can get it up into the uh, framework. So this is as far as I can push it in by hand. I do have it all WD-40'd up. And so now my next step, let's see here. I don't know if it, oh, almost. All right, so I got it started. So I will actually press it on with my vise. And as I press it, I usually like to twist it a little bit make sure it's going in there flat. So I'm gonna use two hands to do that. All right, went in there pretty good. So I'm ready to install that. But while I've got these out, I've got my spring out. And by the way, this stud is offset. Center's about right here. So it is offset kind of to the rear. But you can see those things are shot. Now my kit did come with new uh, spacers um, for this. So I'm just gonna throw these old ones away. I got a little metal recycling bin that I try to recycle is I'm pushing out all this other stuff, this crud. There you go, they're just dry rotted and brittle. So take that. And these tickler springs on this cart are heavy duty springs, but the factory springs are the same. Now let's go look at that side. That side's pretty clean. And these usually go in real easy. For some reason, the, the opening seemed to be a little bit larger. So I'll lube these up and insert those into the uh, spring. All right, so now we're underneath here. So I'm gonna take my WD-40 and I'm gonna get a little bit on each side. There we go. Make sure that's a little bit slippery. And I'm gonna have to take my pry bar. I'm not gonna be able to do this on camera, but I'm gonna come out here to the end and I'm gonna try to widen, you can see it flexing a little bit. I'm gonna try to widen this channel so I can get this to fit up in there. And I do this one at a time to make sure you don't put it upside down. The solid end goes up top, just like it is over there. So let me uh, use both my hands and get this thing pried and get it slid up there. All right guys, so I've got my uh, bushings on my leaf springs with my spacers in there. I've got it oriented where all I've got to do is slide it underneath here. And I've got this in position. And something I want to show you, sorry about the camera angle there. So the bolts that hold these down are just a, uh, hold the top of this down are just a little bit shorter than the ones that go here. But as you look in there, you can see where, that's where it is right there. So I'll take, the proper bolt, wiggle it the best that I can. There you go, got it in position. Now I'm gonna need to put one of these 13 millimeter lock nuts behind there. And once I do that, then I'm going to put these bolts with these big flat washers here and here, which will kind of compress the frame. So if we go underneath here, you see what I'm talking about. So. That is a spacer also that's gonna go in the middle of this bolt. But uh, let me get that wrapped up. I'm gonna go ahead and set the leaf spring in there. I'm not gonna bolt the axle to it yet. And I'm gonna bolt the front first. Then I'm gonna come to the back because I can wiggle it back and forth to make it fit. One other thing, uh, spray in here, both sides. It just make your life a little easier when you try to fit that front one in there. And I've got to use two hands to do this. All right, we got those bolts tight, so I've got both of my uh, leaf spring bolts snug. I did put my parking brake cable or, or brake cable behind that bolt and then put the nut to hold it on. And if you look at this, the reason I took these off, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but this washer's barely overhanging. So I got enough out of there where I could get my 10 millimeter on there, but uh, I don't want to damage my drill bit. So now the next step is I've got to lower the rear end. See, I've still got a little bit of space. And these, this stud here, this alignment pin, there's a hole. Yeah, you can probably see it better in the camera than I can. 
in person. But that is gonna slide up in that hole and then we're gonna use our existing hardware to bolt up this uh, shot plate, I guess is what you'd call it. It holds the brake cable on there also and for your shot to go on there. So I've got it sitting in the hole. There's also a hole on the bottom here. See my finger sticking out through it. That's gonna fit on that stud. And once I hold it up with two hands, I'm gonna start my 5 8 bolts on each end of this U-bolt to hold the rear end to the leaf spring. All right, got those in place and they're snug. It ain't going nowhere. Now I need to put my shock into my uh, shock plate there. Be sure, you, and I'm gonna reuse the existing uh, bushings. They look fine to me. Slide that up there. And these will generally pull down with your hand. Yep, and once I get the bottom one on there, there we go, with the 9 sixteenths and tighten it up. All right, guys, if you run across this, I actually had to jack the rear end up a little bit, put some pressure on these leaf springs to flatten them up so enough thread would stick down where I could start this by hand. And now I'm gonna take my air gun or uh, impact gun and tighten it. Now time to put my wheel back on and tighten it up and jack it up, get rid of my jack stands and let's see how it sets. I know it's gonna set better. All right, the cart looks good. The floor's a mess but uh, it's sitting good right now. So that's exactly what we're at. Hey guys, thanks for hanging in there with me, showing you how to replace the rear leaf spring bushings on a 2007 Club Car President. Uh, the newer ones, you don't have to drill those access holes, but uh, in case you do get to one, uh, obviously you can take the rear underbody off, take the whole rear seat off and everything else, but that's just too much work. So drilling that access hole is, is super simple. It doesn't, uh, damage or, or compromise any integrity on the rear bumper so anyway hopefully this video helps uh, remember i am an authorized dealer for eco battery lithium battery i do a lot of li lithium battery swaps uh, also um, i can do uh, lifts uh, big wheels uh, lights uh, you name it long tops um, I, I do a lot of stuff customer poultry so uh, Click like and subscribe on the video. You'll see some other helpful hints that hopefully they help you do a little bit of this stuff, you know, for sale, I mean, for at your house. Um, I don't sell any of these bushings. So only, the only thing I do is local customers right here in South Carolina. So uh, you may be in Hawaii, Texas, California, New York, who knows. But uh, anyway, uh, take a stab at it. It's not that hard. All right, guys, y'all be safe.